Annette Doss, a Benton Harbor resident all her life, says having an emergency manager running the city is a violation of her rights. Our rights are being taken away from us to say who we want in office and what is going to happen to our city. She today went to the AFL-CIO's meeting at Progressive Missionary Baptist. Members in Lansing are educating people in Benton Harbor about the dangers the precedent of a state takeover would have. Anytime you take away a person's right to vote, to elect their officials to speak on their behalf, it's about all of us. Just a few blocks away, Harris, the man with the power, held his own meeting. Linda Bolden, also from Benton Harbor, thinks help isn't so bad. He's here because the, something was broken. He's here to help us get on the right track. Harris used the town hall to explain his position. Let's face it, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of clamor about this law. He explained the extreme debt Benton Harbor was in when he was appointed in 2009 and says he would like to restore power to commissioners when they can prove they can work with him and within a budget. If I can work with five, the majority of the commission, then I'd like to do so. It's fine with Bolden. She says a learning process has to happen. We have to work and have a desire to get our city together, keep it clean. It's our city. And Doss says everyone needs to come together. We need to join together as one because the house divided will fall. Because everyone here wants what's best for Benton Harbor.